what's up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mass Alligator here with the Achievement Hunter community treading all over CFH Hate Fears Toes here with a look at something, well it's a bit different, it's going to be a mod look at the game FTL. Now ex-patient Zero back in January did a this is on a game, didn't have the recording equipment at the time I needed to do one myself so he did a pretty good job and I thought well I'll cover the mod side of the game. Um, we're going to be looking at two mods, um, the first one here is Starbug 1 of course popularised by the TV show Red Dwarf. Um, one Engi, one Mantis, and two Human Crew are what you get at the beginning. You also get a Med Bay, four um, bars of Engine, and um, of Engine weapon system. My bad. And also ten seconds worth of cloaking once you put power into it. And um, you also get the basic burst laser and firebomb weaponry from the beginning. And also a scrap re recovery arm, meaning ten percent scrap extra recorded on top of uh, at the end of each battle. Now. Um, it's a pretty good layout, because um, there's no actual shielding, um, the Engi kind of has nothing to do in this case. But the one bad side of this mod is once you um, you go cloak it, essentially you get a black box around you, so it doesn't exactly hide you, it just hides the actual ship from you instead. But the weapon system for the first sector is pretty good, it, it just about made it through sector 2, so you might want to kind of upgrade very, very quickly, as, quick, as like early on. But apart from that, the ship came out pretty well. I thought it was a nice design. Starbug One, being a fan of Red Dwarf myself, I thought it looked pretty good on my um, on my sh in, the, in this game because I love both. So I'm, it was like very very good of me to find that mod. But um, anyway, this is my favourite mod. It's called the Merlin. It replaces the Rock Cruiser Type A, and it comes with two Talon lasers, customized weapons of course, customized ship. Look how tiny the damn thing is. It's so cute, and it comes with a weapon pre -ign um, weapon pre igniter. Meaning that once you make every jump, the weapon's already to fire once you've already like got into that sector. So it's like immediately you can start firing on the enemy and not give them a single chance. But it comes with two human crew and the ship is designed to be as small as possible. That's the whole point of it. Um, it can still fit all eight crew members in there, so don't worry about that. But um, it comes with four engines and four weapons, an O2 unit, health, door system, the lot. So don't worry about it. The only things you can't do are have drone control and crew teleportation. Apart from that, it's absolutely fine and dandy. Now, it's ridiculous the way the the weight, the rate of fire on this thing. It fires eight shots in eight seconds. It's it takes two seconds to fire each shot. So you're firing eight shots before he's even fired the missile launcher. Crazy! It's absolutely crazy. Um, but. Eight shots in eight seconds? Yeah, eight shots in eight seconds. <laughs> I had to, had to make sure my math was correct on that one. But um, I would suggest you go check out the mods, ladies and gentlemen. This game has got a fantastic selection all over the forums. And apart from that, ladies and gentlemen, um, the end of the video is coming up. So thank you very much for watching. I've appreciated it. Hope you have a good day. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, you can go to AchievementHunter.com for more community videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Matt Alligator. Bye-bye. <laughs>